A special interview here with Austin Gardner, the former University of Finley basketball player, just finished up his playing career at U of, of F, and he wrote a book, check this out, Changing Lives by Changing Yours. He's a published author, he's a just recent college graduate, and then master's as well. Did you finish right. that up? I got two classes to take this summer to okay. finish up, yeah? Well, I think you'll be all right. I'll, I should be. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw Charlie Ernst, your basketball coach, post on Twitter, I've had so many different great athletes, great accomplishments, but never have I coached a published author. Pretty special to see Coach kind of kind of give you some accolades there. Yeah, um, my career was up and down and stuff, and Coach... Uh, really was a role model for me to get through all that and he put me in great situations we've had you know in-depth conversations about basketball but more so even about life and you know health and he's just been a great role model to me and kind of helped shape for the rest of my Finley career that I had and you know for the rest of my life then as well. Injuries plays a part in your book we, we see a lot dating back to what sixth seventh grade that mm -hmm. you list the different injuries there and this year you were battling again, and, and yet you said, I, I can push through this. I have a month left. I have two months left. I can push through. I want to finish. What did that mean to you to, to play that final game in the tournament mm -hmm. with the University of Finley and finish out your career? Yeah, and I missed three games at the middle part of the year, early part of the year, and I didn't know, you know, what was going to happen again. And I was, you know, what, am I going to be out the whole season? Am I ever going to play again? What's this, what's this injury? And so... Coach Ernst and I, we always had that conversation. Um, you know, as a player, you always say, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. And, right. and as a coach, you're like, no, let's be honest with me. And so I got to be more honest and true to him because I knew it wasn't about me, it wasn't about him, but it was about the team and our overall success. And so being able to play my last game, being able to play 30 games this past year was absolutely amazing. It was awesome. I enjoyed my experience. And obviously, I wish we would have won our Sweet 16 game. Right. But the crazy thing is, this is not too coincidental, I would say, you know, God puts you in certain situations. And when I got hurt my second time, it was at Ferris State. Mm. And I got to finish my career at Ferris State. Wow. And so that obviously relives and goes through my head all the time. And after the game, you know, seniors, freshmen, juniors, sophomores, everybody's, you know, emotional after the game and crying and, and kind of like wish we would have had that game. And I didn't shed one tear after the game because I realized my blood, sweat, and tears went into even having that moment. Yeah. And I'm like, that was a fulfilling time. I wish that we would have won, but, you know, I gave it my all. And so my whole Finley career, I would say, revolves around Luke 137. Faith does not make things easy. It makes things possible. And my journey by no means was easy. I have a lot easier than most people. But overall, playing this last year, it made it possible. You were a big part of FCA getting restarted at the University of Finley. Just what did that mean to you, having that group of athletes that you gather with each week and not just pour into each other about athletics, but about faith? Right, um, and then incorporating athletics into, um, you know, into the faith and how can we use that. And I went to a training camp this past summer mm -hmm. in Boston, and everybody, you know, athletics is a great place to have your platform as well to show your faith. And... Every time, every game I had on my wrist, it was written A01. And then after a while, halfway through the season, I put Luke 137 on my wrist. I wrote it on. And one of my teammates during one of the games just goes, Austin, I didn't know you got a tattoo. <laughs> and I said, it's not a tattoo. I said, it's just pen marking. <laughs> and um, a couple of people kept asking, you know, what does that mean? And I felt like that was a great way for me to express it as well. Not just, you know, after a game, before the game, but actually during the game and getting people to realize there's a bigger picture at the end of the day. And so in my locker then at Finley, um, I had a new Bible quote every, um, every week. And so people could go in, they could see it, and then I put it behind the rest of my locker where all my other quotes were. I put one up the front, and I keep doing that over and over again. And so FCA then kind of brought this about and said, you know, it's, it's okay to express your faith. It's okay to be your own self, you know, break out of your shell. And, and that's what I did. Talk about breaking out of a show. What made you write a book? I, I mean, at, at your age, um, just number one, being able to do it and being able to put together that type of writings. But how did it start? Um, I got into, I wasn't much of a reader in high school. Okay. wasn't much of a reader first two years of college either. And eventually, I, you know, having injuries, I started reading a little bit. Um, and I'm just started reading books about, you know, faith. I started reading books about coaches, any kind of inspiration. And I'm like, man, this, I thought this helped me and stuff. So I'm like, well, why don't I give it back then? And I, I'm like, people want to hear stories. People want to hear testimonials. Mm -hmm. 
and that's been around a long time. So why not have me share my testimony and my stories and my experiences that maybe weren't the right answers, but everybody makes mistakes as, as long as you don't make the same one again. And so I'm like, why not write a book? I like to write. Mm -hmm. And so I wrote a book and I didn't know where this was going to take me. It's got my picture on it. It's got my name on it. But I asked a bunch of people for help, guidance. Um, a, lot of, a lot of help went into this, let's mm -hmm. say. And eventually it got out and I'm glad I did it. And there might be another book in the future. I don't know when, but I can see myself writing another one. And it's available, you self-published, so people can go to Amazon to yep. buy it, is that right? Yes, yep, you just have to search my name or the title, it'll come up then and you can purchase it through that then. You've gone back and you did a lot of the editing, so you've read over your stories again yes. many times. You get emotional as, as you read them and relive those parts of your life? Um, I kind of go back and for me it's a lot easier to visualize those moments because they actually happen to me. Yeah. And so my, my goal is then for the reader then to be able to, you know, visualize that or put that best way possible, whether they know me or whether they don't. Mm -hmm. And so that's why, like, the first part of the book, I share my story, and everybody's got their own. And so this was, like, the first, you know, 20-plus years of my life, and, <laughs> you know, maybe there's another one that comes up. But that was kind of my story, and I'm going to have a different one here in the next, you know, 20 years. Yeah. So I think that's really cool, and I can see how my story has changed, how I've grown, mm -hmm. you know, what can I still do to improve then. Very cool. What's next for Austin Gardner? Um, I'm trying to coach uh, collegiately. I'm finishing up my master's right now in education. I have two classes to take this summer. And um, I'm also kind of working around maybe the NBA route and trying to do some professional basketball. I think eventually I want to be back in the college game dealing with student athletes, mm -hmm. you know, helping boys become men and going through that whole process. Obviously, I like love the game of basketball, but I also want to help somebody along the way in, in helping them with their faith, helping them academically, socially, you know, spiritually, any way I can help them, guiding the rest of their path or their life. I want to be a reference for them. Like I've had two great coaches in high school and in college. I'm like, man, these people help me. I want to be that same person. That's awesome. What would you say to an athlete that is going through a tough injury or is still battling back? Um, injuries are obviously a huge part of sports, especially in this day and age where there's such high performance training opportunities and we're stretching our bodies to the mm. limit. What would you say to those athletes to encourage them? Um, you know, don't give up. And, and you know, Proverbs 3, 5, you know, trust the Lord with all your heart, not lean on your own understanding. And I kind of leaned on my own path more than anything. I'm like, this is what I want. This is what I have in plan. And I'm like, you know, I'm not, you know, going on God's plan right now. Mm. Like, there's something bigger in store. And one of my biggest um, places was Mark 2 with the paralytic man. He heals him. And that man was broken on the outside of what people saw. And so maybe they saw me or somebody else that's, you know, got, got an injury right now and they're broken on the outside. And people see that like, oh, I feel bad for you, you know. Maybe it's because they need something healed on the inside first. Yeah. And I said, that's more important and then the outside will heal itself. And I feel like that's why I was able to play my fifth year is because I needed some fixing on the inside before things on the outside and people could see like, Austin, I'm so happy, you know, for you to be able to play. You know, so if you're going through an injury, you know, don't give up, but, you know, relive and maybe try to go back and, you know, dive in the word and, you know, find something that fits you and says, what can that motivate me to push through, push forward? And you're going to have teammates, you're going to have family and friends encouraging you, but you have to have something else that's always going to be for you, be there for you, you know, no matter what. Yeah. So. Awesome. Wise words from Austin Gardner. Thanks for stopping by. And you can pick up the book on Amazon.com. Just search Austin Gardner.